Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name is Catherine. We're doing a quick love message tonight in honor of Venus retrograde and Lionsgate. It's going to be really short and sweet. The point is to have um, a quick overview of what uh, a potential relationship could be for you. So the reading is of the lives of others you've probably seen. So who they are, what their feelings are, what their actions are, and the potential outcome. So let's just start with who they are. The Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So there's someone that you feel would not commit to you for some reason. Maybe they're committed elsewhere. It's someone uh, that you could have met through a family member that could have been uh, a co-worker as well, or even someone like a friend of a friend. But there's definitely been uh, some kind of connection through others when it comes to the encounter with this person. The Ace of Wands flew out as their feelings. Uh, they're super attracted to you. They're full of um, enthusiasm and excitement. Uh, they're very giddy around you. They could be a fire sign, earth sign, um, but they come through as mainly outgoing and um, at least in their interest towards you, right? You'll see it in their eyes. Uh, you're going to feel it because they glow when they're around you. And they glow even more because their typical um, way or their nature is more of a reserved character or having reserved characteristics in general. The Knight of Cups in the reverse is their actions. Uh, they're very shy, so you see, as much as they're like really into you, they have this really hard time uh, putting their best foot forward when it comes to revealing themselves. They're quite reserved um, and held back, almost, uh, almost a little bit somber. <laughs> like you'd wonder, like. Uh, if you were to see them and you, if you met them in different circumstances, you would deem them to be a little bit uh, serious and maybe even uptight to a degree. Uh, the King of Swords is the outcome. They're going to talk to you. Uh, they have some words that they're actually mulling. They they want to take their time in thinking through what they're going to say and how they're going to say it. It seems um, almost like an intellectual exercise for them to actually be able to compose um, almost as if they were going to compose a text or write a text for you. What I'm trying to say is that they're afraid of how it's going to come through. So for now, they might appear cold to you and the outcome might feel a little uh, icy in the sense that you're not going to feel the warmth that they really feel inside for you because they're going to come through as rationalized uh, or the speech is going to be worked and reworked and it's almost going to feel like rehearsed <laughs> and which might be the case really because um they have a hard time expressing their love it comes all crooked so uh, in terms of their actions you know they're a little bit clumsy <laughs> but they're going to take the time to let you know what they feel, how they, what they think. They also have, they're very good with uh, 
structuring things so they need bullet points they need some some form of, of structure to how they operate so they almost have this um, ingrained oh I see this should be going out uh, um, things should be unfolding in a certain specific way and so they're trying to respect that unfoldment or that I don't know, for some reason, they have this kind of set notion of how to approach you, um, how you should be reacting and how they should react in turn. They have this very strong um, preconceived image in their minds of the outcome of this um, relationship. And they're trying not to burn it because they're burning bright and it's probably it differs greatly from who they are as a base character so it's probably unsettling for them to a degree hence they're why they're gonna rehearse their speech <laughs> let's look at the romance angels worth waiting for this person is a keeper this person has the potential of um, being long term with you, uh, being such a, a steady Nelly, they would they are truly worth waiting for. And uh, maybe they're a bit old fashioned in their approach, and even if they seem to be a little bit un like that, not uh, how do you say, not authentic, maybe because they're gonna be so prepared. <laughs> It might come across as not authentic, but I don't think it's the case at all. So let's look at the guidance, the advice. Joy. <laughs> it's so beautiful. This person will bring you joy if you are willing to wait uh, and willing to maybe comply and roll with the with how they, they approach you and, and how they decide to let you know uh, just how burn how bright they burn for you. How passionate they really feel. That's amazing. <laughs> you really uplift them, by the way. You make them feel giddy. That's really the word. And it's probably really... Uh, different for them right it, it i think it's a foreign um feeling for them so unsettling <laughs> anyways hopefully something resonated in here for you please like the video share and subscribe that would mean a lot to me thank you so much good evening